What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to tutorial 2 and today I'll be going to talk about uh, line plot so as discussed uh, initial two or three tutorials will be uh, very basic um, things with bouquet will be uh, will be going to learn very basic stuff regarding um, plotting how to change color how to change x-axis how to change the level of y-axis how to uh, create uh, different legends and all those sort of things and initial this two three tutorials will be uh, going to help you to get familiar with the different uh, components different methods or uh, different layouts on of bouquet and once you are once you guys are uh, get familiar with the different uh, uh, menus different options different methods then probably you will be going to start uh, the intermediate and advanced tutorial which is uh, kind of uh, going to help you to create some sort of nice looking dashboard based on data so in those tutorials it will be a more or less uh, uh, some sort of data analytics or data analysis and then we'll be going to develop our chart or um, dashboard so that will be combination of two things like uh, data analysis and dashboarding because ultimately you cannot go and do random dashboarding you need some sort of data inside the data or on top of your data you have to do some sort of uh, or you have to do some sort of uh, operation related to um, uh, anything whatever is your business logic whatever is your requirement and based on the requirement probably you can come uh, up with some sort of nice looking charts or dashboard so those uh, tutorials will be the actual objective of, for this course and definitely uh, uh, um, when you're talking about bouquet and those things will be kind of interactive like based on the user input uh, the dashboard uh, like uh, look and feel will change okay so that is the main objective and later part of this tutorial means not this video later part of this tutorial means um, in, the, in this course actually we'll be going to uh, create some uh, data driven application where actually you can easily integrate uh, this um, bouquet dashboarding to any uh, to any of this application any, any any sort of application actually suppose you are developing one application and one part of the application is reporting or dashboarding so that dashboarding or reporting will be completely built upon uh, bouquet we'll see how to do that as well okay so as i told you in the last uh, last tutorial i was not sure about the structure of this course i was still uh, uh, like trying to uh, um, formulate the structure but uh, over the weekend I actually uh, got some time so I came up with this sort of idea so initial two three tutorials will be very basic thing and after that we'll be going to do some sort of data analysis data driven application I'll create some uh, very basic plotting and uh, from basic to advanced and the later part the last part will create some sort of data driven application so that that is my high level objective but in case you guys are having any other uh, suggestion or any idea or whether if you guys are having any use case please feel free to write me i'll try to incorporate all this thing so sorry again i i talked much uh, in this video so let me just move in and start some coding so what is bouquet I, i'm not going to repeat that all of you are familiar with this thing if someone is very new to this guys please watch out for this slide and maybe uh, you can just go through this link uh, for the actual documentation okay so installation of the bouquet uh, is pip install or conda install like this thing you can do it and what is line plot line plot i actually discussed in the last tutorial but again just to give you some more insight i'll be going to do the same uh, tutorial again okay but in a different way okay so first thing it should be from bouquet dot plotting okay so bouquet dot plotting is a uh, high level interface which actually gives you uh, uh, this classes and based on the classes whatever you are going to input you can create your uh, like charts or plots so first uh, our important thing is going to be your figure okay then second one will be uh, output file or maybe I can create output uh, notebook sorry output file sorry notebook we'll see in the next video what is that okay and last one will be show okay and then um, let's create something plot okay so it should be figure like this and we'll create out file should be something tutorial 2.html okay and we'll create plot dot just because this is a line plot it should be line and we'll create some random sets it should be one two three four this is the x and maybe this is the y so this let's make it 10 
20 30 i'm just uh, passing python list okay like this and after that maybe you can just write show and inside that plot so this will open uh, a new uh, window new tab over here and in that tab this tutorial to dot html will be loaded and it will have this line okay so let me run this thing uh, tutorial to see uh, tutorial to dot html and if you so it starts with 110 into it got 23 it got 30 and for it got 40 the same thing whatever you mentioned so this is actually a very basic line plot we discussed this thing in the last tutorial so now uh, the main uh, some customization is that we have this pan over here suppose you don't want this pan okay so how to do that so before i do this thing let me just insert uh, sorry uh, uh, insert cell above so let me write tutorial 2 okay and let me fine okay so plot without plot without pan so pan means i don't want this thing this is actually book a logo and these are the menu item for pan okay i don't want this thing how to do that okay so we'll see that now okay so heading like this and let me okay so how to do that so now what i'll do uh um, let me um, let me create plot one okay so it should be figure okay and now we'll create output underscore file let me remove this one okay so it should be tutorial 2 dot html okay and maybe you can just write the same thing again maybe so it should be plot one and it should be plot one okay <laughs> like this uh, okay i forgot to give this double quotes it's a string actually so let's run this thing so it's here oh sorry i did a mistake uh-huh i did a mistake so tools should be blank actually so let me run this thing see it has no pan it has pan and it has no pan why it has no pan in the tool section i didn't mention anything but if i just remove this thing and again i open this thing it will have pan so now you guys understand what is the impact of this thing like uh, if you give nothing here it will not come up with any pan so what i'll lose now i'll just take a screenshot of this thing because we created okay so let me put this thing over here line plot so picture 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 from file download and this should be the screenshot okay okay fine okay so line plot without pan so for that actually so the significance of uh, this tool is now clear to all of you so so guys now you guys um, understood that why i'm creating this small tutorial uh, this is actually going to help you to understand each and every aspects of bouquet components like what are the things what is required what are the things uh, you need to um, write to remove pan to add pan or so many different things i'm also not i'm also not sure i'm still learning so whatever uh, like um, uh, journey actually i covered in the course of uh, learning this bouquet i'll be going to share with you guys okay so next thing is that uh, we need to attach this thing or else you guys or else i actually going to forget this thing so let me just picture picture from file
that's it okay right so next thing is that line plot with custom colors some colors will be there so how to do that so maybe like uh, plot with custom color so so this is also going to be very important for example uh, let me run this thing so if you run this thing you will get this color is blue so by default bouquet gives blue color but now if you want to have some other color how to do that so maybe here here color equals to you can write um, maybe red okay let's run this thing now see i got red color okay so like this okay so probably now this is clear to all of you so two things we actually learn in this tutorial not uh, not so many things only two things okay but again these are the very important and very basic things if you don't know this thing probably you'll not be able to do uh, like uh, the other customization as well these are the basic thing okay so okay like this so in the first tutorial we have seen how to create line plot actually this we uh, discuss in the first tutorial second tutorial we have seen how to create line plot without uh, pan but again remember this thing whether you are creating line plot or any other plot if you use this uh, keyword argument inside this figure method you will uh, get uh, the plot without pan so this is actually a new learning and very important learning and the third thing is that how to use color or how to use custom color and you have for that you have to use this uh, color keyword argument so there are two new learnings for this tutorial just mark this thing in your uh, uh, like um, anywhere like whether you are maintaining any uh, proper schedule or routing uh, something like that that uh, what are the things you learn and what are the different use case or scenarios you can build and after that you should write your own code so watching uh, like watching my videos are not going to help you if you are not write your own codes by your own like you have to write something you have to do some sort of coding so if you say there are only two three lines of code and once you write this two three lines of code you can actually copy paste this thing in the remaining use cases so at least try to do something whether you are uh, like doing something uh, like um, fancy or very basic thing it doesn't matter until and unless you are uh, you you are actually confident like if you write your code then you will become confident more confidence will give you like more interest to learn so many things and while doing this thing if you just uh, browse through the documentation then actually it will be kind of a gold dust okay so definitely you will learn so many new things if you are start uh, reading through the documentation okay so that's it for this tutorial guys so this is very small and precise tutorial but again as i told you every tutorial has its own objective for this tutorial our objective is to how to load a plot without pan and how to create pan uh, sorry how to create plot uh, using custom color so these are the two new things hopefully you guys will be able to uh, do some sort of uh, practice based on this thing so we'll see you in the next video guys uh, till then take care goodbye and don't forget to uh, provide me some sort of feedback how you are actually enjoying this course or whether you do not like my idea of creating the course in this way or or else if you can also send me some emails and in between if someone is already started working with bouquet or having some use cases where actually you are facing difficulty please feel free to write me i'll try to help you and if possible i, I will also try to include all those use cases in our tutorial as well so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice